Come on, baby, let the good kids roll. Come on, baby, let it thrill your soul. Come on, baby, let the good kids roll. Roll ten years long. Come on, baby, this is it. This is something that I just can't miss. Come on, baby, while the thrill is on. Come on, baby, let's have some fun. Let's burn the door. Let's kill some more. Feel so good when you should. Come on, baby, kill, kill, kill some more. We sell these in the city. We sell t-shirts and uh, sweatshirts with Huli's drawings. Uh, this is one of them. It says, all the years I wasted on the Lower East Side. And the other one says, where else would you have wanted to waste them? Sort of like the bohemian part of the city, the Lower East Side, where Tula like used David to live, Peele, you know, for a long time. David where the Fugs were, that's where they started, Allen Ginsberg and Tula and everybody. Lower East Side. Okay. I became interested in politics when I was 13. I joined the Communist Front Organization, which it I... was in the early 50s? Yeah, no. Uh, earlier Before than then. that. I was born in... It was in 1936. Yeah. And soon, I'm a very old person. <laughs> and, Relatively. Yeah. And uh, my relatives are old, too. And uh, the Spanish Civil War. 36. Yeah, yeah, started. And this was a very important uh, radicalizing influence, mm -hmm. I think, for everyone who was alive at that time, especially the young people. Yes. Because we did see it as, um, and, uh, and the rise of fascism, we saw it as a, uh, a real challenge. And of course, we saw it a little before the bourgeois democracy so three years later the world war started. Yes. So in high school young people were involved in uh, trying to support the uh, Spanish uh, Democrats and the Spanish socialists, the Spanish communists and the Spanish anarchists. Yes. So that was the beginning I think of my uh, I was politicized because I think I lived through the depression and you could walk in the Central Park in New York City, and um, you could see um, homeless people then, yes. which you now see now, like yes. uh, uh, 60 years later, it's really amazing, yeah. exactly the same thing, mm -hmm. living in the park, and if you want to go back further, Central Park, have you been in New York? Yes, twice. Have you been in Central Park? Yes. The entire park is man-made except for the except for the hills and, and the rocks and it was built for the rich right in the center of manhattan mm -hmm. and it looks so na it looks quite sort of natural because they've had 100 and 140 years maybe to for, get it shaped yeah to shape it but what they don't tell you was that in order to build that park, this was in the 1840s and early 50s, there were thousands of Irish immigrants living in the park as squatters. Yes. In order to make a nice park for the wealthy people, they were thrown out. As uh, squatters are thrown out all over the world today in the East Side, you know, and, uh, yes. and so on in England. So it's an old, old story. Who wants the land? Okay, let's do the next slide. Please. This is another my favorite. This was the, the Supreme Commander in Vietnam. His name was Westmoreland. We called him Waste Moreland, which means it's from Moreland. He's been injured in the war. He was playing tennis. This shows you how uh, how editors and reporters can really see the. the if, if he knew, if he could have gotten that report, he would probably have had him shot. And uh, you can choose to print that or not, but it's a wonderful, if you print that, that picture, you're making a statement, which is, uh, tennis is almost as dangerous as war. No, which is that the generals are always uh, back playing tennis, and the uh, poor bastards up front are the ones that are getting shot to death. Next. I 
basically what I do most now is uh, uh, write songs and um, do cartoons. Yes. And in the song, uh, songs are a kind of poetry. And in poetry, you can poetry is an excuse to say anything. You can do whatever you want. It's just taking the language and moving it where it isn't generally. Found cartoons here. And the cartoons I do, uh, cartoons are basically satire. Yeah. And there's severe criticism in a small space, a particular point. Concentrated. Some, yeah. Sometimes it's just a joke or a. Uh, one statement, the aphoristic small form, small form. Uh, and I do the same thing there, and they're even simpler than the uh, song. But my songs are uh, mostly simple, and uh, my poetry is kind of simple, but life is simple, isn't it? Sometimes. I'm to Holland to tell the Dutch people what to do. Yeah. Don't listen to me. <laughs> do what you uh, you know about doing better than I do. And this will be my absolutely final song of the day. A death in the light. I watched the news today, oh boy. The American army had just won the war. And though the news was rather sad, it wasn't all that bad. Wall Street was a little glad. He blew his mind at an Ivy League school. He didn't know that the majors had changed. That's the major subject. A crowd of professors stood and stared. They'd seen his kind before. Nobody was really sure he'd make the House of Reps. That's the law of American Party. I saw Nightline today, oh boys. The FBI had just destroyed the ranch. A crowd of people turned to look. But I just turned away, having read the book. TV, I'd like to turn you off. I wrote the news today, oh boy. 4,000 assholes in Washington, D.C. And though the holes were rather large, I'll fill them all, cried Madame Defarge. I'd love to turn them inside out. I bring the news today on joy. And there was peace and plenty through the land. The people stood and took their love. And enemies kissed and then walked hand in hand. I love to dream.